Hey everyone, TLK Knitting here. I just have this scrubby dishcloth that I hand knitted. It's just a garter stitch. This yarn is a great way to start if you want it to go from the regular cotton yarn to a little bit of a mixture type style yarn with the scrubbiness. It's a little more fluffier and it adds a little more texture to your dishcloth and it looks absolutely fabulous. So what I pieced together was a little video that I had streamed previously live on Twitch where you can find me uh, live in real time knitting. Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays I stream on Twitch. So what I did this time is a little bit of a slower version of doing the casting on method and the garter stitch method. So you're going to see it really slowed down for you so you can get an idea and a feel of how to do the garter stitch and how to cast on the long tail casting method. All right, let's get started. So now, as you can see, this is a different texture yarn. So when you're using the scrubby yarn, the texture of the yarn may be a little more difficult to work with. So what I'm going to do is make the dishcloth the same kind of width and length as the cotton dishcloth. Six stitches with our funky yarn. So when you're working with different texture style yarn, it's going to be a little different to knit because you're going to have to figure out where your stitch is as you go. And you don't want to drop your stitches. So as you go, just pay a little more attention to your stitches than you normally would. And then just knit the same way, okay?
and you're trying to find your stitch as you see all the little threads kind of through your stitch like you see more of the fibers sticking out than you do your actual stitch so just take your time find that stitch and you can do this okay and just kind of make sure that there's no stitches together as you go and then as you go just count you have seven okay you want 36 And as you can see, as you work through the textured yarn, you do come with the, it does come with regular yarn attached to it. So it just takes a little more time to get used to the fibers sticking out of the yarn. And then as you move along, there is some yarn that is textured smoother. So as you complete the textured yarn, you're going to come into that. And now we're getting into the smoother yarn. And I have 36 stitches that came out perfect. That's what we wanted. Yay! I just wanted to show you how to do various yarn textures of knitting. See how the texture is coming along? And it makes a wonderful design as the colors change as we go. Okay.